What's up guys? It's Matt from RC Overload and uh, right now I'm a little disappointed. I just tried to take my Blade 180QX out to do a little video for you guys um, and unfortunately the quadcopter no longer flies straight. It likes to jump everywhere and the camera stopped recording and I don't know why. I looked online real quick and come to find out I'm not the only one with these problems with it. And so I am a little frustrated that it doesn't work after this is the second use now. So I've got my Revo out with me today. And I'm going to go take, some take my aggravation out on it a little bit. Right there behind me in a nice open dirt field. Freshly put down dirt too. All right. Let's get it on.
that's one battery. Now I'm going to kind of soften up the suspension a little bit and um, bring you guys in for a little bit more of a closer view with my handheld that I attach my camera to. So, that was fun. I feel a little better. Actually, I feel a lot better. <laughs> Watching this thing drift around, it's so much fun. Um, but just so you guys know, I am running the Big Joe 2 tires um, from Proline. Alright, and that's, um, you know, I, I don't know if you guys can tell right away, but that's my front suspension setup. Um, running 30 weight in the front shock oil, and that's the setup I have in the rear right now. Um, everything is a little bit tight. I think I'm running 40 in the rear as well. Uh, so I'm actually going to soften up the springs, trying to help when it goes over those bumps. I don't get so much of a tilt. So, um, yeah. Other than that, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to break something in the diff. I already hear something clicking. So, yeah. Alright, but I feel pretty good. So I'm going to make myself feel even better by tuning and putting a new battery in. Yay! So you guys, check this out. Look at what I just found. A ramp. That's right. We're going to go jump it. We just got to find the Revo now. Oh, there it is. Huh. I'm pretty sure we could do something with this. Let's get to it. Do a couple of slow hits, get used to this ramp. I think I'm gonna need to take care of that bush. Let's do it! Yay!
All right, so let's do a race report or a bash report. Everything seems a lot looser. Uh, as you can see, I have completely mangled up the rear end of this body. Shock tower is still holding. Everything in here still seems good. That's moving okay. Uh, let's see the front end. Yeah, that's always been broken, but it's a little bit more. Let's pop the pins out. That one's totally bent. That's interesting. <laughs> oh. I think it is time for a new body. What do you guys say? Oh. We'll see. It's got a little more life left in it. Uh, let's see here. Steering. Uh, that servo does not feel strong anymore. Time for a new servo. Um, let's see. Yep. Yep. Rear diff needs to be rebuilt again for literally the sixth time since I've owned this in about a year. These things just go through diffs. Uh, yeah, all the joints and the tie rods and everything, they're all loose. Um, so, there you go. That's how I beat my Revo. <laughs> uh, Alright guys, so uh, that's pretty much it. I feel better now. I'm not really angry anymore. That was fun, but now I get to go fix it again. Hey, that's the fun of it, though. So, guys, um, as usual, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a little bit different. Tried to get it more on a personal level than so much of a movie or action video type setup. So, uh, what was I going to say? Eh, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, as usual, subscribe comment and um i'll catch you guys around stick around because i got the Re revo 3.3 coming out soon gonna have its first start since i bought it and did the rebuild all right guys see you later